Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. I am Shante Grant, and today I want to talk to you about two little words, social media. Now, first, let me say first and foremost, my relationship with social media um, doesn't date that far back. I was one of the last of my friends in college to get on Facebook. Um, I was one of the last people to get on, in, uh, what's it called? AOL Instant Messenger, although that of all time, of all social medias, is that social media? I don't know if that's social media, but that was, if it was, that's probably my favorite. If we could just all go back to I am, which I guess we do now through text messaging and like Marco Polo. But um, I quickly got off of Facebook shortly after getting on Facebook because after college, I went to law school. Um, But when I first left the practice of law and even before I left the practice of law, social media, Instagram in particular, that's really what I'm talking about when I say social media for me, because that's my platform of choice. But Instagram was vital in the success of my first business, which led to my second business, which led to this um, that I'm doing right now. It was over seven years ago. Um, and it was a time when social media was... <sighs> I'm trying to think of the word. It was a place to share. Well, again, Instagram was a place to share um, and actually connect with people who just wanted to connect. At least this was my experience. And it wasn't about a performance, at least the way I use it in the way that those who I um, followed were using it. And it just was a different time. You could, When you posted something, people could see it. So just a completely different time um, and age of social media. And even Facebook, we had a Facebook group for my first company because of Zoe. And um, I loved that as a secure place to connect with women. And now I don't even like Facebook groups. I am more of build my own platform, which is what we have done. Are you in the Best Today community? Side note, besttodaycommunity.com if you're not. Um, So, but I say all that to say I am not a social media basher. However, with who I am and what I do, And what I teach and what I believe so deeply in and helping you to create a life of intention built on the pillars of proaction, intentionality, self-awareness and self-love. I'm going to tell you social media does not have much space for to take up a lot of space in that kind of life. Um, Some people choose not to use it at all. Some people choose to use it all day, every day. And then there are people who are in between in varying places. And here's the thing, you do you, whatever will help you to live a life of intention. Because if you're listening, I do believe that's what you desire. However, what I'm going to tell you is I, if I had to choose a world with or without social media, without is the easiest answer for me. But I just wanted to give that caveat of this is not a social media bashing space content episode, but it is, let's talk about the real deal, right? And what I'm about to invite you to do in this episode, um, if you feel like this is impossible, this is unreasonable, I don't need it. That's all the more reason I want you to sit with it and consider it. Okay. So I have one question for you today. And that is, can you take one month off of social media? And that's all the platforms that you use, whether it's one or all I don't even know how many there are. I probably couldn't name them all. I'm aware of Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Twitter. Um, I'm on one of those. <laughs> I technically have a Facebook account because we have two for um, our business to run ads, but I'm on Instagram. But can you take a month off of social media? Here's That's the question. The answer is yes. Yes, you can. Um, and here's why I want you to just allow me to have a few minutes of your time to think through this and talk about why I think it could be helpful. Now, I will say I have in the past thought, you know, taking time off of social doesn't make sense if you're using it in a healthy way. I've thought that before. I've said that before. Um, And in part, I still stand by that, um, that you, I'm not saying you, if you listening are using social media in a extremely healthy way, whatever that work means for you, do I still recommend you take a reset? This month, yes, I do. This upcoming month, um, yes, I do. However, again, there is a healthy way to use social media, um, whether you're a business owner or not, because clearly, you know, for business is the primary reason why I'm on social, on Instagram. But here's the thing. We, as humans, we're not wired. We're not made to process the amount of information and interactions that we do through social media. We weren't built to handle it. 
And that's why our bodies can't and don't, don't do well, whether you're aware of it or not, right? We were not wired for to live in a world of social like media as it is and as it exists today. Um, in July, when you hear this, no, June, you'll hear this in June, in June of 2022. You know, that's why words like overwhelm are so prominent in our culture. Social media plays a huge role in that. Um, and speaking of that word, if you haven't listened to episode 64 on overcoming the O word, I want you to tap back four episodes and listen to that one next, okay? I'm gonna link to all of the episodes I referenced because I referenced a a good bit of episodes in today's episode and all of them will be linked in one place to make it easy for you and that is besttodayguide.com forward slash 68. The show notes will have links to every episode I refer to, the first of which is episode 64 on overcoming the O word. But here's the thing, social media invites us to put our minds and our bodies and our emotions through something that it was not made to handle at the capacity in which we take it on. It was not meant for you to know so much about so many people you do not know. Like our bodies cannot handle that. Our bodies weren't made for you to know how everyone portrays their life to be, you know, And what happens is it eats so many people up inside, knowingly or unknowingly. You know, social media becomes this breeding ground for comparison and negative self-talk and believing that you aren't enough. And here's the thing, y'all. I'm not saying this because I heard someone else say this. I'm telling you because I know. And any given month, I meet and work with hundreds, sometimes thousands of women, whether directly in person or virtually, whether it's because they're customers, because I've been called in to train them, because I'm in meetings with them, I know what I'm talking about, okay? I'm not new to this. I am not new to this. (laughs) Hear me well when I tell you I am stating what I know based on facts and real people, not I read an article that said this or my friend told me this. This is what I have seen and heard with my own eyes from grown adult women, Social media is a breeding ground for comparison, negative self-talk, and believing you are not enough. Another episode I want you to go back and listen to, so important. One of my, probably one of the most prominent and effective and just messages I've gotten out, and that's episode 35 on comparison. We'll also link to that in the show notes, episode 35. Social media, here's the thing. It's not oxygen. It's not love. We can live without it. You have lived without it. Here's the proof, right? I imagine most people listening to this have lived life before social media, particularly if you weren't born in a year that begins with a two and a zero, right? We can live without it. We have lived without it. And this is what I want to offer you. We are, in, we are doing in the month of July, 2022, a social media reset. And that is where you choose not to engage with social media for the entire month of July. I'm not asking you to ban in social media completely unless you decide to do that and unless you desire to do that. But I want you to have a better relationship with social media. And sometimes that means understanding what the current one is. And sometimes you don't know what it is until you step away from it for a minute. At Best Today, we exist to help women just like you be your best one today at a time. So each week on the podcast, we are going to highlight your stories and your voices. So let's see what's in the inbox today. This week, we have a message from Julie Diaz, who says just what I needed. Julie is talking about our Ready to Start program and says, this program was just what I needed. I love the initial Zoom call and then the accountability check-ins were great. I wasn't expecting a video response from Shantae, so it was nice to get in my inbox. This has helped me focus on my nightly routine, so I'm refreshed and ready to tackle the morning. I am knocking items off of my list, and there are so many aha moments. I am so happy to find this program and this community so uplifting and positive. I promise you won't regret this decision to do this. Thank you so much, Julie, for sharing your experience. For those of you who do not know, Ready to Start is our month-long program that gives you a live call with me at the beginning of the month. There are two times to choose from. 
a live call at the end of the month. And then in between every single week, an accountability check in with yours truly. And as Julie mentioned, it's not just a tight response. I am sending you a video responding to you reporting back to me how the plan we develop because on that first call, we develop a plan specific for you, whether that is trying to help you build a routine, help you with your time, help you make sense of just these are all the things going on in my life. Help me build some structure. I've helped people with work projects, how to break things down with their teams. It's whatever you need as it relates to your time in life. We talk about that and we build out a plan for you in that first call. And then all month long, I'm there to answer your questions along the way to give you feedback and guidance on how to tweak it, make it work just for you. This program, I'm telling you, 100% of people who have done this program, and we've been doing it since 2020, have said that it exceeded their expectations. 100%. Go and read reviews at imreadytostart.com and join us for our next class at imreadytostart.com. It will have all the details on what month will be our next ready to start and how to join us. So that's imreadytostart.com, which will also be linked in the show notes of today. Get ready because you're ready to start. Again, you can sign up by going to imreadytostart.com. And you realize, ooh, how many times I've tugged and wanted to grab my phone and do these things. Another episode I want you to listen to, episode 30, four questions to ask yourself about your social media use. That's episode 30. Again, all of these episodes will be linked in today's show notes so you can reference them all in one place. So this episode is your invitation to join us in a social media reset. I want you to choose real life over real life. That's choose real life, R-E-A-L, over the reels, R-E-E-Ls, of social media, of Instagram, of TikTok. I don't even know how TikTok works, y'all. Of, of That's one. I, I've seen what Twitter looks like. I've had Twitter before. I don't use it. I've had Facebook before. Don't really use it. Um, I'm on Instagram, but I don't even know what TikTok looks like outside of <laughs> seeing people repost it on Instagram. And I'm sure there are more social media. What's the one that used to be, began with an S, um... I don't remember the name, but it used to have all the faces. <laughs> uh, there's, I don't even know if that one still exists. I don't even remember the name. But um, I want you to find another way to scratch that itch that social media has become for you. And, and really what I, my hope is that it will be very eye-opening for you. Very eye-opening. I know it will be. It's going to be for me. And I use social very in a very healthy way, right? In a very limited, intentional, boundary-stricken way. But I am still so excited to see and learn and, and actually become have a better relationship with it and understand how I can use it less and more effectively. Um, but here's another thing I want you to know, because maybe you're like, oh, but I like being connected. You don't have to use social media to stay connected because remember, the first word is social. And if you remember, the best way to really be social with humans is to engage in one another's humanity. So maybe rather than looking at what your cousin is doing, call your cousin, call your friend. If it's a brand that you really love, find them on the platforms that there is their own. Let me tell you, spoiler alert for business owners. Please use their own platforms because Instagram can decide tomorrow we've deleted all of your followers or, hey, you have to pay us $100 a month to see your followers or anything. Or, hey, we're not going to show your stuff to your followers unless you pay. Which all of the above (laughs) feels like have happened in some form or fashion. So understand that we don't own those platforms. And so we're really there for you. But we prefer you to get on our email list, to get on our websites, to join our tech squads, our communities, listen to our podcast. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Um, If you're not in the Best Today community, that's where you really want to be. That's where you're going to find me all July posting and sharing and giving updates um, on really a lot of exciting things, some big announcements happening in the month of July about what's coming in the fall for us as well as what's going on in July. Um, So come to the places where you actually can really be social. And it's not um, a highlight reel. It's not a thing where I'm trying to sell you 5 million different things. Um, But it's just a community that's there and built specifically to help you on this journey. So for, for me, I prefer if you never follow us a day in your life on social, come and get in our community, the best day community. That's the first place. That's like top of the, like very pick, pick tip to be top. 
That's the most important thing because that's the space where I'm going to be, where there are no other distractions, where I we have curated fantastic discussions, conversations, my curriculum. We have workshop recordings. We have calls every week. We get together. That's going to be the first place anyway for you to really build relationships. Because for me, when I think of social, I'm thinking of community and relationships. Everything else is just a distraction. Okay. So you can join our email list at besttodayguide.com forward slash email. And if you do that in real time while you're listening, we're going to be sending out a treat for you all, um, something we're offering you all for the month of July while we are on our um, social reset. So question, do you remember life before you knew what someone you've never met had for breakfast? Right? Do you remember when you read books or took walks, played outside, hand wrote a card, hand wrote anything? When you call people on a device that didn't have a screen on it, do you remember that? Do you remember what that's like? I bet you, I'm willing to safely say, you probably felt less of the O word in your life at that time. Probably less comparison. Maybe more in tune with who you are and what you actually want. This is your invitation. That's the point of this episode is to invite you to join us in July, 2022, or whenever you're listening to this and doing a full month of a social media reset. Like I said, while we're doing this collectively in July, 2022, this episode will live on for as long as podcasts exist, right? And this invitation will live on for decades to come. So please take this invitation wherever you are, whenever you hear this, and then do it as often as you need. Next week on episode 69, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna offer you some alternatives on things you can do outside of getting to social media. 33 things to be exact, unless I add more before I record this, which I'm about to do right after this. Um, So also reminder that I'm going to be linking all those. I have some helpful episodes of previous podcast episodes that I think will really help to condition. I don't know if that's the word I want to prepare your mind and really maybe even give you some understanding on why we're doing this. So I'm going to link you to episode 64, an alternative to using the word overwhelm. Episode 35, the dangerous route of comparison. Episode 30, four questions to ask yourself about social media use. Episode 23, how to welcome slowing down into your life. Episode 14, what's the rush? rush rushing versus savoring. And episode four, are you letting someone else design your life? Those episodes are all going to be linked to today's show notes episode, uh, which is going to be at besttodayguide.com forward slash 68. So if you go to episode uh, besttodayguide.com forward slash 68, every episode I just mentioned will be linked for you. So it's just one place to hear them all. You can tap the button or just find the numbers wherever you're listening now and tap back to that number or scroll down to that number. Um, those will help you set the tone for thinking about preparing for this social reset. Um, I think you'll find some key principles at the core of all of these messages. I'm not here to attack social media, although it it has done some great things. It has done some great things for my business early on. Um, but again, there's so much harm and poison in it as well that I would be willing to get rid of all of it for the better and the sake of humanity. So instead of doing that, I am asking you to join us for a social media reset for the month of July or whenever you're listening to this. That is my ask for you today. And if you plan to do it with us, we'd love to support you in our in your inbox and we'd love to send you a little surprise. So go to besttodayguide.com forward slash reset. That's R-E-S-E-T, besttodayguide.com forward slash reset. And we've got something for you. Um, put in your name and email address and we're gonna send that over your way if you're listening to this in real time. That's besttodayguide.com forward slash reset. And we will, again, like I said, um, link to that also in today's show notes at besttodayguide.com forward slash 68. Thank you for being present with me for this week's episode of the Best Today podcast. Until next time, remember that you are capable and you are worthy of being your best one today at a time. And hey, guess what? You have everything you need to have everything you want. So go on and shout it out as you live it out. This is what my best today looks like. I'll talk to you on the next episode. If you enjoyed this week's episode of the Best Today podcast, you are going to love the Best Today Guide. Our Better Than a Planner guide teaches you how to get clear on what you want, 
identify your self-destructive habits and behaviors, and intentionally create space to prioritize yourself every single day. Don't go the journey to being your best one today at a time without the Best Today Guide. See inside its pages and order yours today at besttodayguide.com. Even better, when you order the Best Today Guide, we gift you with your first month free inside of the Best Today membership. So what are you waiting for? We're giving you everything you need to trade busy for intention. Go to besttodayguide.com and order yours today and join thousands of women across the globe proclaiming each day, this is what my best today looks like.